Magnetic flux inside a cylinder. A very long cylindrical wire of radius capital R carries a current I0 uniformly distributed across the cross section of the wire. Calculate the magnetic flux through a rectangle that has one side of length capital W running down the center of the wire and another side of length capital R as shown in the figure. So this is basically half of the cylinder here. So for one radius, we have this rectangular region we want to calculate the magnetic flux in. Now, in order to calculate the magnetic flux, I need to know the magnetic field uh, through that uh, rectangular region and integrate over the magnetic field dot product with the uh, infinitesimal area to ca calculate the magnetic flux. Now, as you can see, if the current is flowing in this direction, using the right-hand rule with my right-hand thumb pointing in the direction of the current, the four fingers curl in this direction, which is counterclockwise direction. So that's the magnetic field. This is given by this Amperian loop. In order to write Ampere's law, I need to know the current enclosed by this loop. So let's write the current density. We have a uniform current distribution here. The current density J is the total current I0 divided by pi capital R squared. So it's the cross-sectional area of the cylinder. And the current enclosed by this Amperian loop then will become uh, the current density multiplied by the area of the loop, which is pi R squared. So this is the loop. The current enclosed by this loop or current through this loop is j times pi r squared. So that's going to become I0 divided by pi capital R squared multiplied with pi r squared. The pi's will cancel and I will find the current enclosed to be I0 r squared divided by capital R squared. Now I'm ready to write Ampere's law. The closed path integral magnetic field dot product with dl vector is going to be equal to, now since this magnetic field is only a function of r and my dl's are basically in the direction of the magnetic field, it's going to be b times the circumference 2 pi r. And this is equal to permeability of free space multiplied by the current enclosed by this loop, which is now Ampere's law. This is Ampere's law. Okay, so having written this Ampere's law, I can now calculate the magnetic field because I know what the current enclosed is and I know the path integral gives me b times 2 pi r. So let's do that. Uh, so b times 2 pi r is equal to mu 0 i 0 r squared divided by capital R squared. So you can see that one of these R's will disappear here and I will be left with the magnetic field as a function of R mu 0 I 0 mu 0 I 0 R divided by 2 pi 2 pi capital R squared. Now I know the magnetic field uh, that is uh, crossing this rectangular region. Now looking at it from the side, basically this is my rectangular region where I want to calculate the flux and following the current I0 here with my right hand thumb, I see that the magnetic field lines are going into the page on this side, coming out of the page on the other side. And um, 
it's a function of r so if i'm at a distance r from the center i should uh, consider a region whose length is w width is dr to calculate the flux through that region so uh, da the infinitesimal area will be equal to w times dr and the total flux through this uh, rectangular region will be integral r as r goes from 0 to capital R magnetic field at position r dot product with the area vector dA. Okay? And the area vector I will define to be parallel to this magnetic field. So it's going to be coming out of the page. Uh, so this will be mu0, zero, i0, zero, w, divided by 2 pi capital R squared, integral from 0 to capital R, R, dr right so i'm substituting for magnetic field mu zero i zero over two pi capital r square r for area w dr and then integrate uh, from zero to capital r to calculate the contribution from all of these trips and find the total flux and this will be phi b magnetic flux is equal to mu zero i zero w divided by two pi capital r squared integral of r dr is r squared divided by two this will be evaluated between zero and capital r so that will give me mu zero i zero w divided by 4 pi capital R squared capital R squared so these capital R squareds will cancel out and I will be left with the total magnetic flux here now let me write the final answer it is mu 0 I 0 W divided by 4 pi that's the total magnetic flux through this rectangular region. Okay, so we were asked to find the magnetic flux uh, through a rectangle that has one side of length W running down the center, central axis of the wire, and another side of length capital R, which is the width of this rectangle. So uh, we note that the magnetic field for this a cylindrical wire which carries a uniform current I0 uh, will be a function of R as I go from the center. So I want to calculate the magnetic field inside this cylinder at a radial distance R from the center. So I need to know the current enclosed by this Amperian loop here, the current flowing through this loop. It is I0 multiplied by R squared divided by capital R squared because the current density is I0 over pi capital R squared for a uniform current distribution and the current enclosed is current density times pi R squared which is the area of this region. And writing Ampere's law, closed path integral B dot DL, uh, so you, I can find the direction of the magnetic field using the right hand rule, the thumb points in the direction of the current, the four fingers of the right hand curl in the counterclockwise direction, looking from this side, and I can see that this will be B times 2 pi R, the circumference, so I'm integrating over all of these DLs, uh, is mu zero I enclosed, that's Ampere's law, and I, I already know what the current enclosed is, I0 R squared over capital R squared, so I can find the magnetic field as a function of R. You can see the magnetic field increases as a function of R inside the cylinder. And this magnetic field at position R uh, will be multiplied with the 
area of this strip to calculate the d phi, the magnetic flux through that ma uh, uh, due to that magnetic field. And if I integrate this from for all segments going from r going from zero to capital R, I will find my answer, and that's what I did here. So I substituted for the magnetic field and for the area w times dr. And this integral gives me my final result, mu0i0w over 4pi.